Hey, this is Amrit. Welcome to Fireside Fridays. Uh, today we're addressing a very important topic that I get asked a lot as well from trucking companies, actually my clients. So how do we recruit a truck driver? So there's really three tips that I'm gonna give you today. I'm gonna break those all down and you're gonna absolutely love those. So let's start with number one. It's called attention. Get attention. So the more attention that you have of the right kind of drivers, the more drivers you can come bring into your trucking company, the more your pipeline is gonna stay full up. Uh, think of Donald Trump. He's got the most attention and that was how, that's what helped him win the elections. You wanna model the exact same thing. So for getting the attention, advertising is your avenue. Do as much consistent online advertising to get the attention of the right drivers that you're after. These could, these could be drivers that are just entering in, or these could be drivers that are experienced. It all depends which driver you're after, but you need to get the attention of those drivers. It could happen through social media, it could happen through events, it could happen through job fairs. It all depends how, uh, where all these avenues, avenues are and which one you want to hit. I would say hit them all and blast them all hard. We particularly stick to online because it's the fastest way of reaching uh, any kind of audience in this day and era. So Facebook, Google, YouTube, Instagram, whatever platform is out there, there's drivers on there. Twitter, LinkedIn, those places or platforms, not so much. So you gotta pick and play uh, what are the places where they're hanging out and spending the most amount of time. Second point, retention. You need to improve driver retention. The average retention in the United States for a trucking fleet is over 90%. So if you're losing all your drivers, that's not a good sign. Like if you're consistently just, it's a revolving door, drivers going, drivers coming in, and then drivers leaving, drivers coming in and drivers leaving. That actually brings up your hiring cost because you're consistently hiring drivers. You should always be hiring drivers to um, either replace people that quit for a certain reason that was exceptional. Uh, it was an exception like a medical thing or whatever it might be, but not for people that just left and moved on to like another trucking company because they were paying a little bit more or whatever it might be the reason. I'm sure you get my point. But um, you wanna make sure your retention is one of the top most things on your mind when it comes to driver recruitment. Uh, because it's like putting water into a leaky bucket. No matter how much water you put, it's gonna leak out. So make sure you're working on your retention. How to do that? I'm gonna explain that to you as well. Make sure your dispatchers and they're in tune with everybody because they're the ones, once the driver gets hired, they're the ones who are making the most amount of contact with them. Tell them to call them or ask or talk with the drivers, asking them how they're feeling, if they need to go home, if there's anything coming that they that need to be home for it or anything like that. Just, just tell them to take care of them and be nice. Now I won't say this tell them, put them to trainings that will train them to do so because just telling somebody is not enough, making sure it's it's a unified thing across your trucking company where all the people in your planning or dispatch department are putting out the same kind of message to your drivers. So if a driver is sick or has a family event, make sure the loads are scheduled in a way that they can come home and and not feel bad about it or they don't have to like miss out on like important events because they were pulling a load. So that was like the big point on retention. Third big topic is nurture. So uh, not a lot of people talk about it, but this is a very, very, very important issue. So when you grab all this attention in the first point that I hit of all these drivers who are going to be applying to you or asking you questions, not all of them are gonna come on board because it may not align with what they're looking for and what you're offering. Doesn't mean they can't be a good driver six months down the road. Maybe their family circumstances change. Maybe they move into a different location that's closer to your terminal. You don't know. And I work with a lot of trucking companies where when they get these leads, they don't nurture them like their own kids. You need to take this very seriously. That's where the gold is. So what you can really do, I'm gonna give you the steps for that as well. First thing first, you can feed them video content. If they like to your Facebook page or YouTube or Instagram or whatever, 
whatnot. Make sure they follow your channels, even if they applied and didn't come on board. And then when you put out this video content, it's a subtle subconscious way of still keeping them attracted, still keeping them believing that your company is the best one to work for. That's one way. The other way is, and I talk about video content a lot, it's the most important thing in 2020 and the next coming 30 years. We all consume, the stats are most population, the way they're consuming content is through video and it's 80% is video. Like that's how they consume their content every day. So do a lot of videos and, and put out a lot of good content about your company, what the values are, what not, like good videos. The other thing is email marketing. Make sure you have this huge email list of drivers that you hit up all the time. Emails work if you know how to work it. Some people might say, well, email only has 30% open rate. It works and I can show you the metrics any day. So videos, emails, and then do giveaways. Put on your Facebook page or on your social channels where you give away a trip to like Mexico or a trip to like Hawaii or something like that. You're just keeping that engaged uh, audience on your page all the time. So those are three quick methods on nurturing. Hope all these three points gave you a lot of value. So I'm gonna give you a quick recap. So attention, retention, and then nurture. Just keep that in mind. You have to only do three things to recruit drivers. Attention, retention, and nurture. So that was it for today. I hope you got a ton of value out of this. If you'd like to know more, or if there was any point that you wanted me to mention, just make sure you comment below. And if you really love this video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell. This is Amrit signing off today. And if you wanna watch my last Trucked Up Tuesday video, click here. And then if you wanna watch my last Fireside Friday, then click here.